Lolly Sage 3 just may be the shortest level in the game. Even so, we have a very deadly path in front of us. From the start, drop down to the next screen. Now we have an E-Tank we could collect, but you need a Crash Bomber to get it. If not, then continue down. Truthfully, you can never have too many E-Tanks. Take out the Tenichi, then collect the weapon capsule if needed. Use item 3 to get there, then continue down to the next screen. From here, go to the right. Remember that if you touch any spikes, then it's game over. Watch out for the big fish as you jump across the gaps. There's another one near the end, so be mindful. While in the water, it's all about control and how hard you press the jump button. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain this part. As you go down, we have to keep Mega Man in the center between the spikes. Pay attention to the position of the walls and move Mega Man accordingly. Now when you drop down to the next screen, move Mega Man to the right to avoid the spikes. That one caught me off guard back when I was a kid. Take out the last remaining shot man and get ready for a boss battle. Jump on the Guts Dozer deck and blast his head with a quick boomerang. He will be annihilated in no time. And that's it. <laughs> 